Introduction Vishal is searching for a specific tool from the toolkit. Then suddenly, two steel keys fall down from the table. The keys strike each other and scratches are made on their surface. Vishal, what happened? What kind of a sound was that? Uh, nothing, father. Just some keys dropped down the floor. Uh, okay, son, okay. Father, may I ask you something? Uh, sure, son. Father, when these keys strike each other, then their coating peels off. What kind of coating is that? Okay, son, I will tell you. This coating is done by electroplating. These keys are made up of steel and a coating of zinc is made on them by electroplating process. Many objects like jewellery, nut bolts, shaft and pipes are coated by another metal layer with the help of electroplating. Okay, father, I got the answer of my question. But I want to know more about this. Hmm, to explore more about this, you have to study about electrochemistry. Students, today we will study about electrochemistry. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define electrochemistry Understand electrochemical cell Know significance of salt bridge Represent an electrochemical cell Define electrode potential Calculate EMF of the cell Define standard hydrogen electrode Calculate Nernst equation Calculate Gibbs energy Classify electrolytes Calculate electrical resistance and conductance Calculate cell constant And explain Kohlrausch's law Definition The branch of chemistry which deals with the study of relationship between electrical energy and chemical energy an interconversion of one form of energy into another is called electrochemistry. Large number of chemical transformations and industrial processes are based on electrochemistry. For example, extraction of reactive metals, purification of metals and electroplating of metals. Electrochemical cell a device in which chemical energy is converted into electrical energy is called an electrochemical cell or a galvanic cell or a voltaic cell. In an electrochemical cell, a spontaneous redox reaction is carried out in an indirect manner and decrease in free energy during the spontaneous chemical process appears as electrical energy. Construction a zinc rod is dipped in a ZnSO4 solution and copper rod is dipped in a CuSO4 solution taken into two separate beakers. Zinc and copper rods which act as electrode are connected by a conducting wire through a voltmeter. The two electrolyte solutions are connected through a salt bridge. It is an inverted glass U-tube filled with a warm concentrated solution of some electrolyte. Working of electrochemical cell Oxidation As zinc rod loses weight, zinc solid must have gone into solution. Zinc metal does not dissolve as such in aqueous solution. Therefore, it must have been converted into zinc ions. Zinc undergoes oxidation into zinc ions. Reduction A film of copper solid is deposited on the copper rod. That means, copper ions present in solution must have been converted into copper solid. Copper ions undergo reduction into copper solid. By convention, the electrode at which oxidation takes place is called anode and that electrode at which reduction takes place is called cathode. In this electrochemical cell, Zinc rod is anode and copper rod is cathode.
observations in electrochemical cell. Voltmeter shows a deflection with a reading of 1.10 volt, which indicates that a potential difference is set up between the two electrodes and conventional current is flowing through the circuit from copper to zinc rod. After some time, a film of copper is deposited on copper rod. The zinc rod is found to have lost weight. Significance of Salt Bridge Salt bridge allows the flow of current by completing the circuit. It allows the flow of ions but does not allow the flow of solutions. Salt bridge restores electrical neutrality of electrolytic solutions. The anions of the electrolyte in the salt bridge pass into anodic solution and cations of the electrolyte in the salt bridge pass into cathodic solution to maintain electrical neutrality. Thus, a salt bridge prevents accumulation of charges and maintains the flow of current in the circuit. Representation of an electrochemical cell An electrochemical cell or a galvanic cell is represented in a manner as follows. Salt bridge is represented by two vertical lines. Single vertical line represents the phase boundary between the electrode and electrolyte. Anode is written on the left-hand side of the salt bridge. It is written as the symbol of the metal followed by the symbol of the iron with which it is in equilibrium. Cathode is written on the right-hand side of the salt bridge. It is written as the symbol of iron first, followed by the symbol of metal with which it is in equilibrium. Electrode Potential The electrical potential difference set up between the metal and its ions in the solutions is called electrode potential. When a strip of metal is brought in contact with a solution containing its own ions, then there is a possibility of either of three processes taking place. Metal ion may collide with the metallic strip and bounce back without any change. Metal atom on the surface of strip may lose N electrons and enter the solution as ions. Metal ions may collide with the metal strip and gain N electrons and get converted into metal atom. EMF of the cell Any galvanic cell is a combination of two half cells and electrodes in these half cells have different electrode potentials. The difference in electrode potentials of the two electrodes of cell is termed as electromotive force of the cell. Steps to calculate EMF of the cell are Obtain reduction potential for the anode and reduction potential of the cathode. Combine the two reduction potentials. EMF of the cell is equal to reduction potential of cathode minus reduction potential of anode. That is, E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode or E cell is equal to E right minus E left. Standard hydrogen electrode or SHE. It consists of a platinum electrode with platinum black. Platinum electrode is immersed in an acid solution having 1m concentration of hydrogen ion. Pure hydrogen gas at a pressure of 1 atom is bubbled over platinum electrode at 298 Kelvin. Platinum electrode is inert. The half reaction takes place at its surface and through which the inflow or outflow of electrons takes place. Hydrogen electrode can act as anode or cathode depending upon the nature of the second electrode with which it is combined. If SHE acts as anode, then oxidation takes place at it. The anode can be represented as half cell. If SHE acts as cathode, then reduction takes place at it. The cathode can be represented as half cell. The electrode potential of standard hydrogen electrode is taken as zero. Electrochemical series by taking standard electrode potential of hydrogen electrode as zero, 
standard electrode potentials of a large number of electrodes have been determined. When various electrodes are arranged in order to the increasing or decreasing values of their standard reduction potentials, we get a series called electrochemical series. Nernst equation Nernst equation shows the relationship between electrolyte concentration and its electrode potential. The electrode reaction is written as reduction reaction. Nernst equation for this reaction is given by E is equal to E naught minus RT upon NF multiplied by natural logo of Q, where Q is the reaction quotient. It can be represented by M upon M ion. Put the value of Q in the above equation. We get E is equal to E naught minus 2.303 RT upon NF log M upon M ion, where E is equal to electrode potential under given concentration of electrolyte, E naught is equal to standard electrode potential, and N is equal to number of electrons involved in the reaction, T is equal to temperature on Kelvin scale, F is equal to 1 Faraday, R is equal to gas constant. At 298 Kelvin, put the value of R, T and F in the above equation. We get E is equal to E naught minus 0.0591 upon N log M upon M ion. For pure solids and liquids, molar concentration is taken as unity. Now, the above equation becomes E is equal to E naught minus 0.0591 upon N log 1 upon M ion. Nernst equation and EMF of the cell. EMF of a cell constructed from electrodes in non-standard conditions is given by E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT upon NF multiplied by log Q. At 298 Kelvin, this equation becomes E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0.0591 upon N multiplied by log Q. Here, E naught cell is equal to standard cell potential. N is equal to number of electrons involved in the balanced chemical equation of cell reaction. Q is equal to the reaction quotient which is derived from balanced equation for cell reaction. Let us consider that the cell reaction is AA plus BB gives rise to CC plus DD. The value of reaction quotient is given by Q is equal to C raised to the power C into D raised to the power D divided by A raised to the power A into B raised to the power B. The EMF of the cell is given by E naught cell minus 0.0591 upon N multiplied by log C raised to the power C into D raised to the power D divided by A raised to the power A into B raised to the power B. Nernst equation and equilibrium constant. An electrochemical cell works as long as there is a potential difference between anode and cathode. As the cell operates and cell reaction progresses, there is decrease in the concentration of electrolyte at cathode side. Due to deposition of ions on the electrode, and at the same time, there is an increase in concentration of electrolyte at anode side due to dissolving of metal in the solution. Consequently, electrode potential of the cathode decreases and that of anode increases with the passage of time. Ultimately, at some ratio of concentration of the electrolyte at anode side to that of the electrolyte at cathode side, the electrode potentials acquire the same value 
and therefore the cell potential becomes zero. At this stage, the electrochemical cell stops working and the cell is in a state of equilibrium. By knowing standard EMF of the cell, equilibrium constant for the cell reaction can be calculated as E0 cell is equal to 0 0.059 upon N log Kc. Electrochemical cell and Gibbs energy. The reversible work done by a galvanic cell is equal to decrease in its Gibbs energy. If the EMF of the cell is E and NF is the amount of charge passed and delta RG is the Gibbs energy of the reaction given by delta RG is equal to minus NF E cell. If the concentration of all the reacting species is unity, then E cell is equal to E naught cell. Delta RG is equal to minus NF E naught cell. By calculating the value of E naught cell, we can obtain the value of standard Gibbs energy of the reaction delta RG naught. Standard Gibbs energy of the reaction and equilibrium constant are related by the equation. Delta RG naught is equal to minus RT natural log K. Conductors The substances which allow the passage of electricity through them are called conductors. The conductors can be classified into two categories, metallic conductors and electrolytes. Metallic conductors Those metallic substances which allow the passage of electricity through them without undergoing any chemical change. The conduction through metals is due to the movement of electrons in the metallic crystals. For example, copper and silver. Electrolytes Those substances which allow the passage of electricity through their aqueous solutions and also undergo chemical decomposition at the same time the conduction through the electrolytes is due to the movement of ions produced by the electrolytes in their aqueous solutions. For example, acid and base. Classification of electrolytes Depending upon the extent of ionization, electrolytes are classified into two categories. Strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes. Strong electrolytes. These are almost completely ionized in their aqueous solutions. For example, HCl, NaOH and KCl. Weak electrolytes. They ionize in aqueous solutions to the smaller extent and have low degree of ionization. Their aqueous solution contains ions in equilibrium with undissociated molecules. The degree of ionization of weak electrolytes increases with dilution and approaches unity at infinite dilution. For example, NH4OH and CH3COOH. Factors affecting electrolytic conduction Electrical conductivity of the solutions of electrolytes depends on the following factors. The interionic attraction these are the attractive interactions between the ions of the electrolyte in solution. Larger the interionic attraction, lesser is the freedom of movement, and smaller will be the electrical conductivity. The solvation of ions. These are the attractive interactions between the ions of the electrolyte and molecules of the solvent. Larger the solute solvent interactions, greater is the extent of solvation and lower will be the electrical conductivity of the solution. Viscosity of solvent This factor depends upon the attractive interactions between the solvent molecules. Larger the solvent-solvent interactions, larger will be the viscosity and lower will be the electrical conductivity. Temperature As the temperature of electrolyte solution is increased, kinetic energy of the ions increases. 
This results in the increase of electrical conductance of electrolytic solutions. Electrical resistance Every conducting material offers some obstruction to the flow of electricity which is called resistance. Ohm's law It states that the potential difference across the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. V is equal to IR or V upon I is equal to R. The ratio of potential difference across the conductor to the current flowing through it is constant and is called resistance of the conductor. Its unit is ohm. Resistivity It is defined as the resistance offered by the conductor of 1 cm length with area of cross section equal to 1 cm square. Resistance of any conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor and inversely proportional to its area of cross section. R is equal to rho L upon A, where rho is known as specific resistance or resistivity. Electrical conductance. Conductance is a measure of the ease with which current flows through the conductor. It is defined as the reciprocal of resistance. It is denoted by G. G is equal to 1 upon R. The unit of conductance is Mo. Conductivity. It is the reciprocal of resistivity. It can be defined as the conductance of 1 cm cube of the conductor. It is denoted by Kappa. K is equal to L upon Ra. The unit of conductivity is Mo cm inverse. Molar conductivity of the electrolytic solutions. Molar conductivity is defined as the conductance of a solution containing one gram molecule or one mole of electrolyte such that the entire solution is placed between two electrodes one centimeter apart. It is denoted by the symbol lambda m. For v centimeter cube of the solution containing one mole of electrolyte be placed between two large electrodes one centimeter apart. The relationship between conductivity and molar conductivity is given by lambda m is equal to product of kappa and volume. Example on molar conductivity Let's take an example of molar conductivity. The electrical resistance of a column of 0.05 mole per litre NaOH solution of diameter 1 cm and length 50 cm is 5.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 ohm. Calculate its resistivity, conductivity and molar conductivity. Let's see the solution. Here given values are R is equal to 5.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 ohm C is equal to 0 0.05 mole per liter, R is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter, L is equal to 50 centimeter. We know that area is equal to pi R square. By putting the values, we get area is equal to 0 0.785 centimeter square. We know that R is equal to rho L upon A. By putting the values, we get Resistivity is equal to 87.135 ohm centimeter. We know that conductivity is reciprocal of resistivity. By putting the values, we get conductivity is equal to 0 0.01148 Siemens centimeter inverse. We know that molar conductivity is equal to kappa multiplied by 1000 divided by C. By putting the values, we get molar conductivity is equal to 229.6 Siemens centimeter square mole inverse.
measurement of electrical conductivity. The resistance of the electrolytic solution is measured with the help of Wheatstone bridge method. The conductivity cell containing solution of electrolyte is made one arm of the Wheatstone bridge. An alternating current of frequency range 1500 to 3000 cycles per second is applied. Direct current is not used here because it causes electrolysis and results in the change in concentration of electrolytic solution near the electrodes resulting in polarization effects. The resistances R1, R3 and R4 are so adjusted that a null point is obtained. The null point is indicated by the detector P. At null point, R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4. R2 is the resistance of electrolytic solution. R2 is equal to R1 multiplied by R4 divided by R3. Knowing the values of R1, R3, R4, the resistance of the electrolytic solution R2 is calculated. The reciprocal of R2 gives the conductance of the solution. Cell constant. Cell constant is equal to conductivity upon conductance. It is represented by G asterisk. It is expressed in the unit centimeter inverse. It is more convenient to obtain the value of cell constant by measuring the conductance of a standard solution whose conductivity is known. For this purpose, a standard solution of KCl is used whose conductivity is known at different concentrations and temperatures. Cell constant is equal to 0 0.012886 upon X. Once the cell constant is known, the conductivity can be calculated from the measured conductance or measured resistance of the electrolytic solution. Variation of conductivity and molar conductivity with concentration. Variation of conductivity with concentration. Conductivity refers to conductance of 1 cm cube of the electrolyte. With the increase in dilution, the number of ions present in 1 cm cube of the solution decreases. Conductivity of the electrolytic solution also decreases as the dilution increases. Variation of molar conductivity with concentration. Lambda M values of strong electrolytes are larger than those of weak electrolytes for the same concentration. Molar conductivity of electrolytes increases with dilution. Relative increase in the value of lambda M for strong electrolyte is quite small as compared to that for weak electrolytes. Graphical representation of molar conductivity with concentration. KCl is a strong electrolyte and CH3COOH is a weak electrolyte. A graphical representation shows the variation of molar conductivity with concentration. In case of strong electrolytes, when the concentration approaches zero, the molar conductivity attains a definite value known as limiting molar conductivity. It is denoted by lambda not m. In the case of weak electrolytes such as acetic acid, there is no indication that the limiting value can be attained because when concentration approaches zero, the graph becomes almost parallel to the y-axis. Kohlrausch law. Kohlrausch law states that at infinite dilution, when the dissociation of electrolyte is complete, each ion makes a definite contribution towards the molar conductivity of electrolyte, irrespective of the nature of the other ion with which it is associated. The molar conductivity of an electrolyte at infinite dilution can be expressed as the sum of the contributions from the individual ions. Let us assume lambda not positive and lambda not negative represent the limiting molar conductivities of cation 
and anion respectively. The limiting molar conductivity of electrolyte at infinite dilution is given by V positive lambda naught positive plus V negative lambda naught negative where V positive and V negative represent the number of positive and negative ions furnished by each formula unit. Application of Gold Rauch's Law Some important applications of Gold Rauch's Law are in Calculation of limiting molar conductivities of weak electrolytes Calculation of degree of dissociation of weak electrolytes Calculation of dissociation constant of weak electrolyte Determining the solubility of sparingly soluble salts and calculation of ionic product of water. Did you know? If the two vessels are entirely disconnected without a salt bridge, then the cation and anion quickly reaches equilibrium and no electrical current can flow. In 1800, William Nicholson and Johann Wilhelm Ritter succeeded in decomposing water into hydrogen and oxygen by electrolysis. Changes in the stoichiometric coefficients of a balanced cell equation will not change E0 value because the standard electrode potential is an intensive property. Kohlrausch, who investigated the conductive properties of electrolytes, also investigated elasticity thermoelasticity and thermal conduction. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. The branch of chemistry which deals with the study of relationship between electrical energy and chemical energy and interconversion of one form of energy into another is called electrochemistry. A device in which Chemical energy is converted into electrical energy is called an electrochemical cell or a galvanic cell or a voltaic cell. The electrode at which oxidation takes place is called anode and that electrode at which reduction takes place is called cathode. Salt bridge allows the flow of current by completing the circuit. It allows the flow of ions but does not allow the flow of solutions. The electrical potential differences set up between the metal and its ions in the solution is called electrode potential. Molar conductivity is defined as the conductance of a solution containing one gram molecule or one mole of electrolyte such that the entire solution is placed between two electrodes one centimeter apart. Kohlrausch's law states that at infinite dilution, when the dissociation of electrolyte is complete, each ion makes a definite contribution towards the molar conductivity of electrolyte.